I recently upgraded to a new 16-inch MacBook Pro after three years with a 2016 15-inch MacBook Pro. In this video, I'm going to compare the video export speed between the older 15-inch model and the new 16-inch. It seems like most of the comparisons or shootouts on YouTube with the new 16-inch MacBook Pro are pitting it against very recent MacBook Pro models, like the 2018 or 2019 15 inch MacBook Pros, which most people aren't going to be upgrading from immediately. The 16 inch should be quite a bit faster than my 3 year old 15 inch model. It has the 2.8 GHz 8 core processor, as well as the upgraded 5500M 8GB graphics. The 15 inch has a 2.9 GHz 4 core processor and the Radeon Pro 460 4GB graphics. The 2.9 GHz processor was the top of the line for this 2016 model. Other than the keyboard, which has been replaced by Apple twice, the 15-inch has been a great machine. But I'm really looking forward to the speed boost and hopefully better reliability provided by the new 16-inch model. In this first test, I'm going to be exporting a project from ScreenFlow to a 1080p QuickTime video. ScreenFlow is the app that I use to record and edit the tutorials for the MacU.com. So I'll get this started as simultaneously as possible and then start the stopwatch on my iPhone. The video that's being exported is 2 minutes and 43 seconds long, so neither machine should take a whole lot of time to get this done. Let's fast forward a bit through the export. So here we're approaching a minute on the timer, and the 16-inch MacBook Pro is getting close to finishing the export. And it completed in about 1 minute 10 seconds. Meanwhile, the 15-inch is only about halfway done. Let's fast forward again and see exactly how long it takes. It finishes in just over 2.5 minutes. So in this export test, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is over twice as fast as the three-year-old high-end MacBook Pro. Over the long run, this is going to save me a ton of time when exporting lessons. In the next test, we're going to do another 1080p export of a project, but this time from iMovie. In this case, the 16-inch took about 51 seconds to complete the export. and the 15-inch MacBook Pro again more than doubled it up, coming in at a minute and 10 seconds. So I hope this quick video helps those that might be considering upgrading to a 16-inch MacBook Pro from an older 15-inch model. Let me know in the comments if a little over twice as fast is what you would expect from the new 8-core processor versus the 3-year-old 4-core processor. And to learn more about using your Mac, iPhone, or iPad, take a look at the tutorials available at themacu.com. Thanks for watching.